I saw him under a tree in Kutapalong camp. He was sitting and watching the world go by with his one good eye. For eight days, Mamun walked with his wife at his cane to reach safety here. He crossed a mountain and a river, him in his 70s and her with a bad back. I really don't know how they made it. He was hungry and she was sick. In the school they slept in, my colleague Nadira made sure they got food. She gave them clothes, sleeping mats and plastic sheets. I shudder to think how my own aging parents would cope in their shoes. No one should have to live with this indignity.